Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming, today again with another World of Warships video and thanks to a colleague of mine who was also a member of uh, the Survivors of the Last Ark uh, of my uh, where we played uh, Ark Anunnaki on Valhalla. Uh, Mortuary from Let's Talk Gaming was at the Gamescom in Köln and he actually get, got a couple of bonus codes for World of Warships, uh, which gives you the Emden, it gives you, uh, I think, three days premium, as well as a little gold, I think. Or was it flax? No, it was flax. I think it gave you a couple of flags. Uh, yeah, here the Gamescom flag. And the biggest World of Warship event 2016, Gamescom, yep. And, of course, we are the closed beta tester flag, which I got by buying myself in into the closed beta test. Uh, you just can... Okay, you just can fly one flag. So we are going to fly uh, this flag for the moment. We still got a couple of other flags, like this one over here, uh, which gives me more experience earned in the battle. This one here uh, gives me more commander experience. Um, the other flags I used quite often. A lot actually. Uh, the Amden is a pretty interesting ship. Uh, we can get some upgrades in there. Uh, I won't get any upgrades in there because I haven't played the Amden yet. I just unlocked it and checked if it actually worked and so it actually did. I did play over the Gamescom uh, during the Gamescom time where there was actually 200% experience for the first victory of the day. However, that is over as you can clearly see now. Also, uh, due to the Gamescon, there was this change to the game. The German battleships are here. And we have nearly enough experience for the first German battleship, the tier 3 battleship, the Nassau. And I'm going to uh, unlock that one in another video and or actually bring you another video where I drive around in the Nassau pretty soon in the near future. But for today we are going to see how the Emden does in a battle. Um, first let us just check the armament. It has 10 times, uh, 10 turrets with one gun of 105mm cannon. Uh, main battery firing range is 8.9 kilometers. Concealment! Okay, we are concealed before we shoot actually the gun, which is nice. Maneuverability mm, could be better. Uh, 24 knots is not very fast. Turning radius is pretty good. Rudder shift time 4.3 seconds is pretty good as well. Um, yeah, those are the turrets. Pretty nice. Uh, let's just see. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, the damage is not that great on those guns. But the HP, AP and HE shells have the same travel time. Which is nice, so you do not have to adjust uh, your lead while while using those. The AA defense is two; it has two seven point. It has four uh, four seven point uh, nine two millimeter machine guns. Uh, machine gun 08, so nineteen oh eight machine guns as anti air defense on a tripod. It looks like pretty nice. So anyway, guys, I'm going to load up a battle, and I bring you back as soon as the battle is loaded. And I'm back, and the game has started, and the NASA looks pretty nice here. Or sort of nice, actually. Um, getting up to speed, fairly decent. But as you can see, everybody is playing the NASA, so there are five NASAs per team. Uh, some Kohlbergs, and... Actually, it's pretty pretty even out team, I would say. The other team has doesn't have an Emden, but they have an Albany, and the Albany just sucks. I have an Albany as well. I think the Albany is the premium tier 2 uh, cruiser of the American line. It is just nice to have. Uh, I played it with my buddies in, uh, in a division. It was horrible. It is very slow. Uh, you get detected, I think, about 2 kilometers away from... Uh, before you actually can hit with your guns. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting ship to drive. But anyway, what I forgot to say at the beginning of this video, um, I will put Let's Talk Gaming's channel's li uh, link in the video description. So uh, he has a couple more codes to give away. Um, so if you are interested in getting the Emden uh, that way, uh, and also for some other games he got some codes, 
uh, check out his channel and uh, yeah check out for the, the video which will this uh, describe which will be I, his, I think he said he will do a video where he will give the codes away but for sure subscribe to his channel he has also known his own web page and I think YouTube uh, Facebook as well but everything you will see on his channel so if you want to have a chance to win uh, the code for this ship or a uh, code for another game I think uh, I'm not quite sure I think Dre he got some beta co beta codes for dreadnought uh, which is very interesting. I don't know if I'll be able to do some videos. I have to check with the developer first if there is still a ban on it or not because I haven't quite seen any uh, videos of it on YouTube so yet. So I don't know if there is an embargo or not and I'd rather not risk a strike on my channel. Not if it's going as it is going right now. It's not going super great but I'm happy how it's going. So I don't want to chance it and and get my channel disbanded because I'll do something not allowed but anyway like I said check out uh, his channel uh, the link will be in the video description and let him know I send you over he's a very nice person and yeah hopefully you like his video content as well he does also quite a lot of different games so anyway we start off here oh crap there already is, and I'm detected, of course. Uh, I was going to say, there already is a Nassau. The fire rate is pretty good of the Emden, and I think I'm broadside on. Yeah, perfect. That was a citadel, citadel hit, which took away half my health already. However, we... No, we didn't even cap C, because I'm a moron in that way. We are hitting the Nassau, though. Is it the Nassau? Yeah, there are just Nassau battleships in there. And this was another near Citadel hit. Oh, I was still kind of broadside on to him. That explains why. Uh, we, we, we get some high explosives hits in there. Not much, but a few. That's another Nassau. And... Yeah, I'm still detected. I'd rather not be detected. Ooh, he hit again. <laughs> what the hell? There was another shot from where? I'm still detected? Really? I'm far enough away now. Yep, yeah, I'm more than nine kilometers away. And yeah, the tenor you already destroyed a cruiser of us. Yeah, we are, we are going to lose this game for sure. Uh, so my first encounter with the Nassau with uh, in the Emden didn't turn out that great. <laughs> I have to be honest with you guys, that could have worked better. Uh, yeah, try to mark that ship and try to get some high explosives landed in there. However, I'm detected, which is not good, and I'm broadside on to him again. Oh, we set him on fire. Nice. Uh, let's see if he is new to a world of warships and immediately uh, ooh, crap Immediately puts out the fire that would be pretty bad ouch <laughs> No, he is not new Well, it would be great for me because that would mean he is a uh, Well, not, not new player, but in a battleship you shouldn't extinguish your fire unless you are burning in multiple locations because it takes a while. Ooh, crud. It takes quite a while for. Ah, there we go. It takes quite a while for your. Um, how do we call it? Uh, for your guns to reload. Ah, uh, for your for your uh, damage repair ability to get off cooldown. So wait till you burn at least two or three locations actually before you use it. So anyway, that was not really good. Uh, exit port. But, yes, <laughs> it could have worked out much better. But um, I have to wait now till the Emden is back. But during this time, I think I could go uh, modules. Yeah, we can get in here. And let's check again what up kind of upgrades we can get. We can get the main armament upgrade, which does minus 20% of... Battery becoming incapacitated, uh, plus fifty percent survivability. Repair battery repair time is minus. Uh, 
Torpedo tubes, we do not have any torpedo tubes, okay. Uh, survivability as well to the torpedo tubes and to repair time, so we don't need that. Uh, I think auxiliary, secondary battery survivability and AA survivability, that's definitely not a thing we need on this ship. And we have magazine modification, which is a minus 70% to the risk of your ship's magazine to be detonated. So I'm definitely going with that. That seems to be the... Okay, the ship is in battle, that's why we cannot do that. Oh, of course. <laughs> makes, makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Uh, but I'm definitely going to go with that. With the magazine detonation one. Uh, I have 21 available. I don't know if they've been used after every 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 play or not, but we'll see. So we have the Kohlberg here, uh, which you see I have 1800 experience on the Kohlberg. So that means I have to do... might even just need to get one decent battle, which I get about 1500 experience out of. Uh, which then will lead to the Nassau. Uh, the call through we already have, it's over here. Tier 4, and of course the tier pits. And if you look at the tech tree, I have to do quite a lot of the grinding because I want to get to the Bismarck as soon as possible. I want to do to compare the Bismarcks to the tier pits and to see actually how we will fare in a Bismarck. Uh, in the tier pits, I'm not doing that great. I guess I won't do that great in any of the battleships. I'm more of a cruiser driver, at least with the US. I don't know if that is something a little bit different here in the German side. Oh yeah, they also added the Polish ship, uh, the Black 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 uh, Bliskawica. I think that was pronounced correctly. Probably not. Um, yeah, we could buy it for four thousand and eight hundred gold. I don't know if that is a really good thing to do. I mean, we have. 120 millimeter battery with one turret that's one is this one in the front i would suggest yep and then we have three times two uh three turrets with two cats with two guns uh both forced actually german guns interesting uh on the rear and one in the front as well uh it does have torpedoes oh nice two times three torpedoes uh two launches with three tubes um, yeah, with 8 kilometers range, uh, torp speed is 57 knots. What's the damage of the torps? Uh, 14400. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty decent, actually. Uh, that's cool. I didn't notice that there, actually. UK, uh, I've seen a video on YouTube by the Mighty Jingles that the UK light cruiser line will be introduced pretty soon. Or soonish, there are speculations. Uh, nobody knows anything for certain, but I think uh, Jingles is right when he says that probably they will be released around Christmas. I guess. Uh, yeah. Uh, USSR. I don't think there are any new ships. Uh, yeah, I don't. I did not pay enough attention to the uh, Soviet uh, tech tree. The U.S. tech tree didn't get anything new except. Uh, I think I never showed you guys the, te the Texas and the Saipan. Saipan is a premium aircraft carrier tier 7, which is interesting. And of course the Texas uh, the Texas has a quite a nice background story uh, on how she, how she did in World War II. If you're really interested in that, you also should check out the Mighty Chingles video uh, on the, U the uh, USS Texas. Uh, he does very nice videos, the World of Warships videos. And he has a lot or a ton of information, of background information, what the ships actually were during World War II. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Like I said, during the video, check out uh, Let's Talk Gaming's channel. The link is in the video description. If you want a chance to actually win a uh, giveaway, uh, a code, no, not a go. Yeah, a bonus code for uh, to win the Emden, where do you get the flag and the ship and a port slot. So, and like always, guys, one more time, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.